can I go? So what this is here is a water slide with a 15 foot. Oh god! This is the just announced today GoPro Hero 7 Black. A little over a month ago, GoPro invited me and a bunch of other tech journalists, I'm not a tech journalist, they invited me anyway, out to this really fun like water park, mountain bike day of adventure to test these things out. I haven't been able to post any footage from that because it's been under an embargo, but here today I get to finally share with you my experience in testing the Hero 7 Black. <laughs> Great. Let's see if there's any sound. All right, I'm here. Where are we? New Jersey? What's this town called? Vernon, New Jersey. I'm here in Vernon, New Jersey, and right behind me here. Are you making a video too? The same time I'm making a video? I'm filming you, filming me, filming you, filming me. <laughs> okay, let's go to this camera. <laughs> this is Nick here. He's the founder, CEO of GoPro. So pitch me on this. Tell me what this is. Oh man, Hero 7 Black's the best GoPro we've ever made and it's the biggest leap forward in performance since the original HD Hero back in 2009. High definition was the first thing that put GoPro on the map uh, and hyper smooth is today. This is the gimbal killer. So we're all about helping people capture their active lifestyles and with activity comes motion and with motion generally comes shake. This thing captures the best stabilized video of any camera ever. I gotta put my camera on there. Yeah, hold on. This is Zach here. Zach is the uh, guide for downhill mountain biking. What uh, What do I need to know? Do you, Zach? Who's your favorite YouTuber? All right, so this is gonna be the GoPro downhill test. I'm gonna do both stabilized and then unstabilized, and I'll try to show you like side by side. But I gotta turn this camera off because I can't actually ride with this camera. Is this recording? Yep. I wouldn't have known to do that. It's all about the speed, right? Lean your bike! No, thank you. Fuck! Do you think that YouTubers can vlog with the Hero 7? Yeah, I don't. I uh, personally, I don't understand why you guys are still using these massive cameras when we've made this badass, like self capture solution. I get it for certain applications, sure. sort of, but yeah, you can absolutely vlog with this thing, man. We've improved the audio performance, so increase the dynamic range. You get more natural voices, um, and you don't have to be lugging. Or I mean, look at the size of this thing, dude. On our way to the water park. This is Jeremy. What's up, guys? Jeremy was a U.S. Army Green Beret Special Forces 
Did I say that right? Yeah, you're correct. You're correct. And now is product marketing at GoPro. How'd you go from special forces to product marketing at GoPro? You know, uh, I decided to get out of the military and uh, got hooked up with their uh, product team. I actually tested Hero 3 Plus for them when I was in the military doing skydives. Really? Seriously, I gotta wear a helmet? Yeah. Oh yeah, here you go. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's wet! <laughs> Surprise! That is disgusting, thank you. No problem. Do we go in the same tube? Yeah, both of you go. you and me, babe. <laughs> Time to do it up. Okay, ready. Thanks, guys. Yeah. All right, so the other thing is the uh, Hero 7 supposed to have, oh, God, improved audio? I think GoPros have never been known for their great audio, but oh, they put a lot of effort into uh, work into improving the audio. So let me know what you think. Does it sound better? Okay. How often does someone get seriously hurt on this slide? You can be honest. No one gets hurt. Nothing. Require a neck brace in the morning. I think there was a period where a gimbal was really exciting and people were psyched on seeing yeah. stabilized footage that accessible, but we've made it even more accessible with Hypersmooth. And... Rest in peace. <laughs> Rest in peace, gimbal. Okay, Nick, thank you for subjecting yourself to my um, interview. Thanks, bro. I'm gonna start using this to vlog with, by the way, it's way lighter. Yeah. You made me do it, man. I didn't want to beat you. I went to today knowing I was going to see the new GoPro, and I had a lot of, of skepticism. I just don't see what the point is in having another GoPro. But after spending the day with this thing and seeing some of the footage, seeing what it's capable of, I get it. It won me over. I guess the question that needs to be answered is, is this thing worth $400? And the question I had for Nick, and he didn't really have a satisfying answer for me, was our, our cell phones now, they're waterproof. They have uh, 4K, high resolution, super high quality cameras built into them. And if we're gonna spend money on something good, you know, something better than our phones, typically we're gonna target something like this. So between the spectrum of a cell phone and an SLR camera, where does the GoPro fit in? And um, I don't know, I think, it's a very, I think it's a very tough question. If you're a professional filmmaker, YouTuber like me, absolute necessity. But if you're someone who has limited resources and what you can afford for hardware, I don't know that this would be the first thing you'd spend 400 bucks on. It is an amazing product. It is by far the best GoPro GoPro has ever released. I will continue to use this in this vlog and now that the embargo has been lifted, I'll actually let you know when I shoot it on the GoPro. Okay, see you.